Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent in Canterbury and in this video clip I want to discuss with you how we can quite easily calculate the growth of a bacterial culture. Now if you have done microbiology you know that um, a bacterial culture uh, goes through different phases and different stages. So, for example, if we measure the absorbance of our culture and plot this versus time, we see typically three characteristic stages. One is the lag phase, where usually not a lot happens, where we can't measure a lot. Then we have got the log phase, and this also is called the exponential phase. And then once the nutrients are all used up, we are in the stationary phase. And usually it is this exponential phase, this log phase, that is very interesting for scientists, because here are the bacteria at their real prime, at their very best. And this is the time where it is really useful to work with this bacteria. So, how can we calculate the growth of a bacteria, bacterial culture. Well, first of all, we need to remind ourselves that the growth of a culture uh, in, the, in the log phase in generally follows a first order reaction. And this is really related to reaction kinetics. Now we know that we can write a first order reaction kinetics as, in this case, we call it absorbance. So absorbance F, which stands for the final absorbance uh, that uh, we, for example, want to achieve, equals the starting absorbance, and I call it a uh, sub I for initial absorbance times E to the power of K times the time difference between the starting point and the final point. So that would be our delta T here. And this K, that is the rate constant. Usually, biologists don't easily work with rate constants. They are a little bit of a weird concept, but rather they work with what is called the doubling time. So, they very much prefer the concept of doubling time. And this doubling time uh, does exactly what it's supposed to say. So, the doubling time is the time how long it takes the culture to double. Long it takes the culture to double. Uh, very often it is abbreviated as T2 over 1. So that means we go from 1 to 2, so we double. And this is uh, related to the equation ln2 divided by k by the rate constant. So if we bear that in mind, we can very nicely uh, use this equation here uh, to do all sorts of calculations. So for example, so here we have a bacterial culture that has an initial absorbance of 0 0.05 and we want to find out what is the absorbance when we let this culture grow for two hours and the doubling time of this culture is 40 minutes so i give you a little bit of time to work it out yourself if you like and uh, you can stop the video here and try to figure it out what you get Okay, have you got it? Uh, let's do it quickly together. So we know that we have uh, the uh, absorbance. So we have absorbance final 
equals the absorbance initial times e to the power of k times uh, the time difference. We know that k is ln2 and that is 0 0.693 divided by the doubling time, so 40 minutes, and we get our k uh, in this case, it would give us something along the line of, so k equals 0 0.0173 minutes to the minus 1. And now all we need to do is really put in the numbers that we've got, and we have the absorbance, the final absorbance, equals the initial absorbance, so that is 0 0.05 times e to the power of, well, and we just calculated our k, 0 0.0173 minutes to the minus 1 times the time difference and this were two hours now we have to convert it into minutes because we have our k in minutes so two hours that is 120 minutes and uh, when we do this calculation we find that our final um, absorbance in this case well let's quickly do that uh, we have 0. Uh, zero 05 times e to the power of roughly 2.08 and we calculate this so we have 0 0.05 times e to the power of 2.08 and that gives us around 8.0 and then this gives us roughly 0 0.40. So that would be our final absorbance uh, under these conditions. So if we've got 40 minutes, two hours growth, and we start with 0 0.05, then this would be a 0 0.4 absorbance after this time. So here's another question, uh, very similar. And again, I give you a little bit of time to try and work it out for yourself before we uh, do this question together. So it says, assuming a bacterial culture has a doubling time of 40 minutes and we have a starting absorbance of 0 0.05, how long does it take for this culture to reach the final absorbance of 0 0.3, which uh, we want to have, for example, for an experiment. So here's a little bit of time for you to work it out. And now let's see how we can address this equation. Again, we know it is a first order reaction. So again, we write down uh, our uh, final absorbance equals the initial absorbance times e to the power of k times uh, delta t. Now we are looking for this delta t and uh, therefore we have to rearrange this equation so that we get rid of this e and the easiest way uh, is to bring this to the side, so we have the final absorbance divided by the initial absorbance equals e to the power of k times delta t. And in order to get rid of the e, we take simply both sides by the inverse mathematical operation uh, by ln, and we have ln final absorbance divided by the initial absorbance equals, and we know that ln and e cancel out, so we have left k times delta t. Now all we need to do is now find out what is our k, and for that we can use this equation k equals ln2 divided by the doubling time, and uh, so that would be 0 0.69 
divided by 40 minutes and for k, we just did that actually, we would get k equals 0 0.0173 minutes to the minus 1. And so if we want to get our t on its own, we simply divide everything by k. So we have delta t equals ln, and I just put in the number. So my final absorbance, that is the absorbance that I want, is 0 0.3 divided by my starting absorbance, and that was 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.0173 and the unit here down is minus 1. So if I uh, do the calculation I get ln 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.05 that is 6. ln 6 divided by 0 0.0173 minute to the minus 1. So ln 6 gives me roughly 1.79 divided by 0 0.0173 minutes to the minus 1. And when I put that in the calculator, then I get uh, around 103.4. And this minus minutes to the minus 1, since it is in the denominator, it goes then up here and we have the unit minutes. So it would take me around 103 minutes. Uh, might be enough time to go for a coffee in this case. Here is another little example. So uh, uh, let's assume we have a bacterial culture and again its doubling time is 40 minutes. And I want to let the culture grow so that after three hours it has a final absorbance of 0 0.4. So what is my starting absorbance? And again we can use the first order growth equation for that. So the uh, final absorbance equals the initial absorbance, that is in this case what we are looking for, times e to the power of k times delta t. And again, we know what our uh, k is. So the rate constant equals 0.693, that is ln2, divided by the doubling time. So that's 40 minutes. And we have calculated that before. Uh, this gives us 0 0.0173 per minute. So all we need to do is rearrange this equation that uh, we have here in such a way that we get our initial culture and uh, we just bring this, this term with this e to the other side. So we would get our initial absorbance A equals the uh, final absorbance that we want divided by e to the power of k times our time period. And now we can put in numbers. So our final absorbance uh, we ask for 0. 4 divided by e to the power of 0 0.0173 per minute, minute to the minus 1 times, and we have a 3 hour period, but we have to convert that into minutes because everything is minutes. So 3 times 60 gives us 180 minutes. So let's calculate what this one here is. So we get 0 0.4 divided by e and uh, this gives us 0 0.173 times 180. This gives us roughly 3.12. So if we now calculate this one here, e to the power of uh, 3.12, gives us 0 0.4 divided by 
22.64. And if we do that, um, this gives us 0 0.4 divided by 22.64. This gives us roughly 0 0.017. So that is our initial absorbance of the starter culture that we need to uh, use in this case if we want our culture to grow for three hours. So I hope this makes sense and thank you for watching.